so beautiful, for some more than others. Every breath, every day of our lives, ah, fishing. Sweltering day in Jamaica. Having destroyed their car, John Lurie and Tom Waits must now travel across the island by canoe. You tired? No, I'm invigorated. You are? I am. I get in places like this and I could disappear and never be heard from again. Fishers of men, fishers of men, up one side and back again, the last of men. Our trusty bows are in our boat, along a river of men. Sing with me, John. Along the river of men, along the river of men. Up one side and back again, along the river of men, of men, row, of men. He yells at the crew, they get nothing to eat, along the river of men. Oh, it's up one side and back again, along the river of men, of men, of men, of men, of men, along the river of men. Long the river of men, the long river of men. You know, if I lived here, I would, um... I mean, if you lived here in this if area? If I lived here in this area, I would probably find stuff on the beach. Yeah. And make sculptures out of it. You know, that's interesting because I've always been fascinated with the flotsam and jetsam that war washes up on on the beach. No, but when I actually see, you know, like driftwood art. Yeah. I don't I, like it. No. I've never responded no. to it. But at the same time, I, I understand the desire to make things out of shells and, you know, because it's just like... But you have to sense... sense. I mean, it is, I think once you start putting it together, you kind of ruin it already, right? It's already, it's already beautiful. Yes. You know, for example, something like that. Well, that's a piece of ginger. That is ginger. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's not I'm what. I, hang on to that. That's not what I would have picked. No, but I, it's the first thing I saw. <laughs> this is Leon's house over here. I haven't seen him in a long time. I hope he knows where they're biting. Leon! Oh, John! This is Tom. Tom? Leon, how are you? 
find that. We just came all the way across the whole island. Our car broke down. We came across the whole island. Oh, you must be tired, man. Yes, I'm very tired. Get inside. All right. Have a seat. Come inside on your seat. Yeah. We have this tugboat that we're gonna go out in. Yeah. That I actually tomorrow morning I need you to give me a ride out to the to the tugboat. Yeah. That's okay. Do, could do it for you. And then uh, we can't troll because the tugboat moves too slow. The speed don't matter. Yeah, but no, but no. But what I want to do is I want to just go in one place and sit in one place and catch fish. Let me ask you something, Leon. You ever come across any walleye pike? No, 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 fish. No walleye no. pike. Um, what about a chicken fish? Chicken? Yeah. No, 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 no chicken. Fish. No chicken fish. <laughs> We used to catch chicken fish back in Illinois. What's the chicken? What's a chicken fish? They're like the puffed, they're like a puffed up fish. fish. He doesn't know anything about no, fishing. No, he don't know anything about fishing, man. Well, we always call it a chicken fish. Chicken. Chicken fish. No, the fins, the fins no. are on the forehead like this, right? And they move from side forehead. to side. Huh? Forehead. Forehead. Yeah. The fins are go across the forehead, right? Like that. Yes, yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. The, yeah. Uh, the tongue comes flying out of the throat. I don't know. Goatfish. This is amazing, you know, because everywhere you go, they have different names for different fish. Every yeah. every single place you go, I mean, even if you go from from New York to the Florida, same fish has it has five different yeah. names. And so when you get to France, by the time you get to France, it has a different name. Yeah. Entirely. Mm -hmm. Cheese fish. They call it a cheese fish in France. Why do they call it cheese fish? I don't know. It's France. It's a different place. It's the same fish, but they call it a cheese fish. Mm -hmm. Cheese fish. I never heard of it before, but I was when I was in France, we caught a lot of cheese fish. No, you yeah. did that one that name it. What about flounder? No, what flounders? Take oat. The fish take a oat. Take a what? Oat. No, I don't yeah. know. There was one the time there was a story that the flounders yeah. and the porpoise yeah. went up a race. Yeah. They set them off. Flounder said if he's loose, I ask God to make my eye come on one side. Oh, so he's loose. So yeah. the eye come on one side of his. That's that's, that's the story? Ah. That's why so I say the eye is on one, one side. side. Yeah. To sin. Ah. <laughs> Do you know the story about the ant and the cow? And the cow thought it had a certain amount of territory, right? Where it lived? Cowfish? No, cow, real cow. Oh. And then there was an ant yeah. that lived in another spot that was right in the middle of the cow's territory. Yeah. But the cow didn't even know that the ant was there. That's fascinating, John. <laughs> Is that a fishing story? Mm. I know. Mm. Like, you just thought you'd throw that in. Yeah. We're sorry. talking fishing, yeah. Tell me yeah. about cow. Is a farm? Uh, Huh? There's a farm of cow? No. So we're going to leave and go to cow. And we're talking about fish. What time are we going to get started? Early? What's six, early? What time six, should we go? Five o'clock. Five o'clock? Do you think we could sleep in their room? Yeah, you can sleep in their room. Yeah? Yeah. I haven't been up at five o'clock since I was a little boy. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to go to bed. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're whooped. We're beat. Yeah. You can go to your bed. Thanks. I sit here. Yes. Go to bed. Okay, Leon. Thank you, man. I sit here. All right. See What's you bright and early. Yeah. Five in the morning. Not sure, man. <laughs> Where'd you go, John? I'm in here. Oh. So I'll take the little bed? Yeah, you take that right there. I'm going to stretch out right here. Another day of adventure, John. That's what I call a manly boat. It's a nice boat, no? It's manly. Thanks, please. 
What's left? Oh, the plastic bag. There is nothing like fresh air with a rod in your hand. The fishermen start with live bait. Is he alive? Sure. He's fine. All right. I'd love a bite of your sandwich. Let him go and then let him, uh, let him, him to the bottom. But don't let him, uh, don't let him get all hooked up in the rocks. Way and the wind that way. You're not speaking to me anymore. Huh? You're not talking to me anymore? No, I'm just a little queasy, John. I'm, you know, so I'm trying to just stay even, you know. better if you do. I hate to throw up. It was such a beautiful breakfast. You know. I'd like to hang on to it for a little bit longer. It only cost a few dollars. What do you want to do, Tom? Um, Go home? Be on dry land. A game of cards on dry land makes Tom feel much better. What's the limit? Four is King's bet again, or, or the last high cards? You bet. Four is the area You raise it. Four. Leon, Leon, Leon. Yeah, I thought the last $4. one was down, and then you turn over your choice. Four dollars. I'm out. Okay, I'm gone. And you're dead in the water, child. Oh. Uh, let me uh, stay it on. Okay. Turn one. Turn one. Whoa. You dropping out? Yeah. Are you dropping? Yeah, yeah. Still playing. Well, with the game's not over, I didn't bet. I didn't get a chance to bet on the last round. <laughs> oh. Look at me. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean, oh? Do you have a gun? <laughs> You're not fast enough. But that doesn't mean I have a chance to bet on the last day. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just turn all your cards over. Do you want to do bet? Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not a You're a troublemaker. I'm not a troublemaker. I have a, I have a right to bet on the last bet. No? Next bet. Next thing. Yeah. Your turn. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom has agreed to fish again. John is driving the tugboat for the first time. It takes a skilled boatman to weave in and out of the coral reef. Even a boat this size can be destroyed in an instant. They're 
going to fish for Red Snapper in calmer water. Well, I don't know where we are. We're all right. No, but this doesn't look familiar to me at all. So well, you're headed right for that boat. Well, I know, but... A lovely spot for fishing. And everyone said hello. I'm putting her back in, John. Yeah. Where do you hook this bait? Through the eyes. Oh, jeez. You want me to do it? Yeah, why don't you do it? He's already looked at me. I can't do it now. We have a relationship. Here. Can you just uncock the back of that? Give me a little more line. Uncock no, the back No, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So just let him, just let him drift around. <laughs> well, if he wasn't dead before, that ought to kill him. The idea is to keep him alive. You see him now floating there? Is he floating? Yeah, look. Well, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> you know? I gotta ask you something, John. Yeah. Have you ever caught a fish before? <laughs> you know I've caught a fish before. I've never actually seen you catch a fish. I keep getting something out there. I don't know if it's For right real? or not, but something is playing with my bait. Well, I'm gonna at least imagine I got something going here, John, even if it's not true. No, oh, don't. No, you must have. That's just the, that's just the bonita belly on there. Yeah. Give it a. Give it a what? Give it a yank. See what happens. No, I need to make a hard yank. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tom has his first fish of the day. Cool. Oh. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on in the boat. A red snapper. Very good to eat. There, where should I put him? Oh, Where's our bucket? Well, you don't want to put him in the cooler. Just let's leave him out. Should I put him in my pants? <laughs> That's what I've usually done in the past when I've been depressed. It's okay. always, I guess. All right, put him in your pants. I remember there was a time when I was very depressed, and I and he used to help. It helped me. Put him in your pants. Should I put him in my pants? <laughs> I'm afraid you're gonna have to. All right. I'm just gonna leave him right in here. Uh, oh my god. Oh jeez. I'm all Tom. right. I'm all right with him right there. <laughs> Let's get baited up and right. start new. I got a bite. Don't believe them when they say there's no fish out here. They just don't want you fishing. Wait, Tom. I got a fish. Bigger than mine, John. God, that's beautiful. 
It looks like the same fish, Tom. No, it can't be. The first one's in my pants. <laughs> you want to put this one in your pants, too? I don't want them to fight. <laughs> they may fight over me. Fight for air? No, just fight for comfort and position. Did you see that? Something big jumped. But for real? I know. I saw it. I'm going to get baited up. I got to get back out there. Where's the bait? Hold this to me. OK, let go of the line and just point it straight, straight that way. Go further than that. She's. That's what fishermen say to each other as they're biting? passing the night. Are they biting? But it's really true, you know. That they bite, you know, they eat it. They suddenly, you know, you can't catch enough fish. Yeah. And then some days it's just like this. Well, what I'm concerned about here on the boat is when we really start bringing them in, are we going to have enough room up here? <laughs> We're going to have to move all this gear out of the way. way. We can put them in the front. Little kid. Are they biting? <laughs> No, he's slowing no, down. OK. Are they biting? Ha ha! <laughs> but now there's this whole sort of, you know, catch and release policy. Yeah, I believe in that. Well, I believe in catch, put in your pants, <laughs> and release. There are fish in the water, but when they're not hungry, there is no way to catch them. A school of wily barracudas devours the last of their bait. Huh. Look, at Look at that, John. That was a bite, buddy. See, now I know if I feel a bite, I'm going to know it's really a bite. I'm going back. No, nah, he's dead now, boy. He was alive, though, when you dropped him in, for sure? Oh, no question. Really? And it no was right question there? question about it. Where would you put that fish that you had in your pants? Oh, you put him in the bait pocket? I put him back in the tire. Should I put him back in the bait <laughs> No, it's fine. Look, if you think we're better off with lures than we are with bait. No, I think we're better off with bait. But we're out of bait. I knew I should have brought some cheese. I've caught all my big fish on cheese. Is that true? People do use cheese. Yeah. How often does a fish get a chance to eat some of the finer cheeses? It just doesn't happen. You like a camembert? Or a blue cheese. How does it stay on the hook? You wrap it. You can wrap it in a, uh, you know, a little, uh, piece of underwear. Well, you think we're going to think about moving? Yeah. I'm hungry. 
Adventure, man of adventure, conquering the world, conquering the world, the world of adventure, the world of adventure, the world of adventure. Our journey begins in a world of adventure. The long walk home makes Tom a little grouchy. I don't know if I ever let you talk me into doing this. The most absurd thing I've ever done in my life. But I thought you would like it. Well, you were wrong. I asked God to make my eye come on one side. You're a mess. And you dragged me along the safari, and I don't know why. Fishing with John Fishing with John Fishing with John With John.